talk about is tires and how you get your Hoosiers to grip the racetrack here in Pennsylvania. Here's Tony Bachoven with more. Well, guys, John Darwin Jr. in with a flat tire on the left rear. You can see right here, there's a cut in the sidewall. I don't believe the tire actually wore down through the tread. As you can see, the tread's still in pretty good shape, but there is some definite visual damage. And right here, actually, guys, you can see as I can stick my finger in a little bit of a hole right there in the sidewall. A little contact with somebody. Yeah. Well, you can have that here. Yes. Yes. Obviously, that tire is not going to be gripping the racetrack surface very well tonight. A lot of these other guys have been siping and cutting their tires, doing everything they can to get those big Hoosiers to rip that racetrack here tonight. Well, we know Scott Bloomquist hasn't had any problem with the grip. And here comes Flanagan. He's done the show on the top side of the speedway, looking to charge back up and race the guys up in front. Well, as you talked about earlier, Shane, you've got to move around to try to find a place. And one thing we've seen as we go on board our gravely on board camera with Chuck Frank, Flanagan's not afraid to move around. No, he isn't afraid to move around. And he's also comfortable with the groove that he's running as the car works well for him on the top side here in turn number one and two. And it's still really enough in the race that if he wants to move down and see what the car will do on the bottom, he can do that without risking losing too many spots. There's Marlar in the 5B, the black car. Chubb Frank. And then Lanigan. Lanigan's in his own group. Nobody else is really going up to the extreme top side like he is, and in particular, in turn number one and two. We see Chubb Frank running the cushion off the of turn number four right in front of him. But watch as he goes into turn number one. There's nobody else up there. And Eckert likes the complete opposite line down on the bottom, then he drifts up into the middle there. You go where your race car works the best for you. Chubb Frank in that one star on the bottom, Tim McCready, number 39 at the bottom. Again, a tip of the hat to the guys that put this track together. Racing from top to bottom. They're all battling over fifth position. Here comes McCready on the bottom. Frank tries to pinch him down a little bit. Both of them experiencing problems. Well, 